the 2.4 GHz Exceed RC Drift Start. This is the box it comes in, and this is the car I got. I got the blue, brushed version of it. It's still very powerful. And under the body, it has a powerful 540 brushed motor, a 1800 milliamp nickel metal hydride battery. It's a pretty good battery, actually, that comes with it. And the receiver is 2.4 GHz, so is the transmitter. But the receiver is three channel, so if you want to upgrade that or upgrade um, anything, it's good for it. This battery lasts a pretty good time, and um, over part overall is great. I'll be upgrading to a brushless setup though, but when you get out of the box, it drips great. It has some um, four wheel. This is this is a four wheel drive car with independent suspension which can be adjusted with these. Comes with um, four of each, one very thick and one thin. Put it in the top of the spring for the suspension. It'll make the suspension harder, which is useful. The other things that come with it is this sheet of decals for it. If you want to put them on, I haven't yet. I don't know if I will. The 800 milliamp nickel metal hot drive battery, some instructions for the transmitter, and a book of um, manual or booklet of parts, all the parts for the car and for other CRC cars. It also comes with a nickel metal hot drive battery charger with the adapter for uh, work with and plugs. When you take the car out of the box, it will have the body on, It'll be um, secured on with these, and the battery will be in place. Put this over it, secured by these as well. Do not want to leave the battery unattended. And even though it's a Lyco battery, it's, I would still recommend getting one of these Lyco Safe charging bags. Um, if you have this car and you like it a lot, you might want to even upgrade it, get a better battery. The brushless, uh, upgrade to a brushless motor and a brushless ESC, and then you will need this. But still, it's a lot better to have this and be safe than to be sorry. This car, over time, I will probably, probably be upgrading a lot of these parts to aluminum, getting a brushless motor, and uh, for this car, I'll probably get um, anywhere from 2,000 to 5,000 milliamp LiPo battery, 20 cell, 7.4 or 11.1 volts. And for the body, I'd probably go to um, HPI Racing, probably get a better body with some uh, light buckets, put a little LED in there. This, I believe, is a 200mm body, so that's what you will need to be looking for. This is a very good car for beginners. And if you have the money, you can go ahead and already buy the brush this edition. I think it's $170, around 160 and this is only 100 and I got it from the shipping, it was free. So I didn't have to pay the extra $20 for shipping here, all the way on the other side of the country. And it only took a little over a week to get it here from California to the East Coast. To start it up, you always want to turn on the transmitter first, plug in the battery, And then turn on the ESC, wait for the beeps, then you are safe to put on the body and not worry about having to turn it off in an emergency. And the body height is also adjustable with these, you can have it low to the ground, have it look like an actual drifter, more than up to the top. But the higher it is, the safer it is from if you're going on a curve and it goes down and doesn't hit the ground. I have mine just high enough so that will not happen. See how, uh, look how fast the tires spin. Now I checked with the support from Metro RCX and they said that this car at its current setup with brush motor right out of the box goes about 35 miles an hour. You don't need to go that fast for it to drift, but it's still great to have that speed and 
when I've checked at all the other retailers for the CNRC cars, and NitroRCX.com is by far the cheapest and most reliable. You don't have to hope you get the right part or hope it's not damaged in shipping, you will know. They also have a ton of deals, free shipping and discounts on the cars, it's just far better than anywhere else.